Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes. Uh, the two big stories today are the wildfire smoke, which everybody talked about yesterday and noticed. And we may start to get a slow break from that uh, today. And certainly tomorrow as drier air comes in, as a cold front passes. And of course, that cold front is going to generate some severe weather in the Storm Prediction Center in their overnight forecast they actually expanded this area a bit of slight risk uh, from southeastern new england south and west across new york city the hudson valley most almost all of new jersey uh, and then continuing into southeastern pennsylvania northeastern maryland and delaware while the marginal risk extends a, a little bit further to the west and uh, th that is what we're going to be watching of course uh, the uh, Storm Prediction Center also, uh, they did take uh, the 2% tornado risk down in the overnight forecast. We'll see if they put it back up in the daytime forecast, which will be out around 8.30 or so. There is a 15% probability of damaging winds or wind gusts of 50 knots or higher within 25 miles of any point in the slight risk zone and there's also a, a high risk of hail a 15 percent relatively high risk of hail 15 percent uh, risk of hail the probability of one inch diameter hail or larger within 25 miles of any point in the yellow zone and uh, a lower risk just to the west that covers the marginal risk zone and that's due to the fact that we have this cold upper trough aloft and that's uh, going to drive the dynamics for the possibility of hail. Weather in 5 is brought to you by uh, uh, Wholesale Holiday Lighting by Giannini, your complete holiday lighting specialist, meeting all your decorating needs. Whether you're thinking about maybe having a professional decorate your home this Christmas, or you might want to do this as your own business, uh, they're at 162 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst, New York, on Long Island. 631-957-5106 is the phone number. And LIHolidayLighting.com is the website. Also brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, 631-756-1125, also on Long Island. And uh, this is a good idea at a good time while the hurricane season uh, is in a lull period at the moment to maybe make sure you have all your emergency uh, emergency supplies. So uh, give them a call or head to the website at omnitruevalue.com. So let's run through what's going on uh, this morning. And uh, you see clouds to our north and west, to streaming northeastward. That's where the cold front lies. There's a tropical moisture that has been across the Gulf states for days now, and that extends eastward to our south. And we are, of course, stuck right in the middle. And the uh, upper flow shows a very strong trough right here right to our west and that is going to be the driver today in terms of generating these strong thunderstorms that's a fairly sharp upper trough that's lying right along the coast and that cold front uh, pushing through as well the good news is that behind it our upper air winds are going to be turning to the northwest and that is going to bring down some drier and slightly cooler air and that northwest flow pretty much uh, holds on for Thursday, Friday, and even for Saturday, it actually gets reinforced. There's another upper trough, a weaker one that comes through Thursday night into Friday morning, and that reinforces the drier air. So we're going to see low humidity for three days before that trough pulls out, and then we watch to see what happens as we move down the road going through the weekend. Rainfall amounts from the Weather Prediction Center uh, showing anywhere from a half an inch to an inch of rain from these uh, thunderstorms, not just from today, but maybe Saturday night into Sunday morning as we have a bit of a warm front that's going to go by with a shower or thunderstorm with that. Uh, notice that uh, the rains, at least in the southeast, uh, diminish a little bit. They're increasing for central and southern Florida, but nothing extraordinary going on in terms of rainfall amounts over the next week. We're closing in on records for the month of July uh, some places are going to come close to having their wettest Julys on record. And the southwest continues in the monsoon season there to get heavy rains into Arizona, parts of western Colorado, and southern Utah. So good news there because of the uh, drought situation uh, that we have. So uh, the uh, 
situation for late this afternoon, I'm going to use one of the shortest of the short-term models here, uh, and that is uh, the FV3 model. It's done a, a fairly good job overall uh, in uh, trying to figure out how this is all going to play, and uh, we'll see what it has with respect to the radar uh, going forward uh, as it loads. You'll see, uh, let me just set this up uh, a little bit back to the west here, and at least for this morning, we don't really have much going on, uh, and we're not going to see anything through the morning and probably into mid-afternoon. Uh, if you uh, look at, take quickly at the radar, the radar is fairly quiet in the northeast. There really isn't much happening there. Uh, some scattered showers across the southeast with that southern moisture, but that really isn't going to be uh, getting involved. So as we uh, move along through this morning, uh, during the, this is actually from the overnight, some of these cells that went by from the north. Uh, the weather front, the cold front, uh, lines up just to our west for later this morning and this afternoon. And then you're going to see the uh, a, a very strong line starts to fire up around noon or 1 o'clock in, in, uh, during the afternoon. You see it there. Uh, this model seems to be bringing in these storms a bit faster than some of the others. So during this afternoon and into this evening, some rather big cells here develop. Uh, this is a fairly fullish, bullish view and kind of matches up well with the idea of what the Storm Prediction Center has with respect to slight risk. Also, because of the fact that the trough is coming down from the northwest, there is really not much, if any, sea breeze except along the immediate beaches. So the coastal areas particularly Long Island and Southern New England, are going to, be, uh, it's going to be seeing these thunderstorms hold together. And you see the line extending back across northern New Jersey and into southeastern Pennsylvania. Kind of tails off a little bit there. I would just caution that uh, the short-range models, no matter which one I pick, they're all going to have different ideas on how the severe weather is going to play out. So just be aware that the risk is there for some strong thunderstorms this afternoon and into this evening. And then once the front goes by, the drier air comes in from the north. So whatever smoke is going on in the atmosphere is going to disappear. And with that north-northwest flow that's going to set up in the upper atmosphere, we won't have to worry about it. All the wildfire smoke will be staying away while we enjoy some delightful weather over the next three days. And as far as the weekend is concerned, Saturday, dry sunshine, some high clouds coming in during the afternoon, maybe a shower or thunderstorm Saturday night into Sunday morning, and then it turns warm and humid, and some scattered showers and thunderstorms possible during the day on Sunday. Overall, the weekend, I think, should be okay with just those minor interruptions uh, to deal with. Weather in 5 brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware, 631-756-1125 at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. And the website is omnitruevalue.com. And Wholesale Holiday Lighting by Giannini at 162 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst, New York, 631-957-5106. And their website is liholidaylighting.com. Why don't we just very quickly just take a quick check of what's going on from the Hurricane Center, and we have no uh, for, uh, tr no tropical cyclone activity expected in the next 48 hours. Over the next five days, they're highlighting a small area of convection off the southeast coast of the United States that's going to hang around there uh, through the weekend, and we uh, go are going to see... A no, zero chance through 48 hours, but they indicate a 20% chance as conditions are favorable for some development here over the weekend, as long as it remains mostly offshore. And of course, as we start to get closer into the month of August, we're definitely going to start to see uh, the tropics rev up again. The Joe and Joe Weather Show tonight at 7.30 Eastern Time. Hopefully by then all the severe weather will be over with. And we'll be updating uh, once uh, SPC uh, puts out their new forecast for uh, today, uh, we'll update that. Uh, that usually comes out at around 8.30 Eastern time. And you look, you can look for that on my website uh, at uh, meteorologistjoechaffee.com or just download my free weather app because you'll get an update there. And you can do that on Google Play or on the App Store. Just search Meteorologist Joe Chaffee or just search my name, Joe Chaffee, C-I-O-F-F-I, and download the app and enjoy. Have a great day, everybody.